Hey everybody, let's discuss some FDA recalls. FDA recalls can be classified into three separate classes. By the end of this lecture, I want you to be able to tell me what I just told you, how many classes there are, and be able to order them by a rank of the most serious to the least serious. Let's start with class one. Class one's the most serious of all FDA recalls. This is a situation where individuals that continue to use it could actually face health problems or even death. This is the type of recall that perhaps you've seen on the news where the news reporter was warning the public that if they're taking that medication, that some action may need to be done, whether it be return the drug to the pharmacy or simply quit taking the medication. You as a technician need to get that drug off your shelf, quit dispensing it, and you may be asked to be able to call the, uh, the patients that are taking that medication to make sure that nothing does, uh, no, no harm is caused. The second one is a class two recall. Now this is a little better than the class one recall. Um, it's the type of recall that could cause some health problems, but it all should be temporary. It should be something that an individual should be to get over. There's a much less chance of anything happening that's actually very serious. Nonetheless, get it off the shelf if asked to. We don't want it to become something that could be a little more chronic. And then finally, class three. It's the least serious of all these recalls. That doesn't mean you just need to continue to dispense it. If a class three recall happens, you still need to get it off the shelf and into the hands of the manufacturer should they be asking for that. There's little chance the continued use of this product is going to cause any health problems. That being the case, you may not need to be calling the patients to let them know. What you might want to do is just pull the different medications that's on the shelf and uh, be able to send them off. Now each medication has something called a lot number and of course an expiration date and many recalls will just be certain lot numbers. Maybe something happened uh, bad with a certain batch. If that happens they'll call the lot numbers that were made during that batch and just those. So you may get recall notices that tell you certain lot numbers. You'll look at the drugs, see if you have those lot numbers and then see if it's necessary for you to be able to send it back to the manufacturer. With that, this is a very short lecture. I want you to be able to know uh, the three classes of FDA drug recalls and be able to tell me which is worse than another. We'll see you on the next one.